Hello, Basha. Thank you for joining me today. Hello, Wild Orchid. Can you hear me well? Hello, Wild Orchid. Can you hear me well? Hello, Wild Orchid. Can you hear me, guys? I don't know if you can hear me. Hi. Loud and clear. Ayun, thank you. Ayun, hindi ko alam kasi kung narinig niyo ako. Ayun po, yet ka na naman. Thank you so much for sending me the, the pack. The package, I mean. All right, this is what we are going to date, but it is just still wet. Ayun. Sino ba bagal mag-type? Ako ba? Ayun. I am going to use um, Archer's watercolor paper today. I come. <laughs> anyway, so parang ganda lang. Silhouettes. You'll be doing just silhouettes of this image for Mother's Day. It's very simple, but I am going to use metallic paints today. So that we are going to do something different. It's very different to other, um, what do you call this, other greeting cards that we used to see. 
and we are going to do is silhouette and for this calligraphy there And you saw my friends will be watching also, but maybe there's something on the internet. How's your internet? Is it fast? Is it good? Is it <laughs> slow? Oh, there's some pages. Okay, some pages. Okay, what about now? How's the sun now? Okay. How's the sun now? Is it better? Feel a bit bad. Okay, what's wrong with you, Mike? What's wrong? What happened? Okay. And we're up, I don't know where to put this, Mike. All right. What about now? Is it better? Okay, I hope it's better now. Maybe the others will join later. Okay. All right. Ready now. Okay. There was another one watching. Okay. Can you comment where you are? So I would know. So we will be doing very different um, greeting card today. And QC, okay, Bash is from QC. I am from Filipino. All right, it, okay, so it's very different. I actually um, draw the outline because it's just silhouette. Can you see the image of the woman here it is this so i traced this photo from here if you have a, a bed light or light table light table or light tablet that you can use if not you can also trace the image through the window or another thing that you could do is use a uh, a carbon paper. That's the other option that you could use. Hello, James Joseph Vargas. How are you? All right. I think there are the others, but they said they are going to join today. But anyway, I would be using. Of metallic paints from my Moyo professional fan set. So this is a 48 colors of watercolor. It's a professional color set. So if you are doing some artwork and you're doing this artwork for a living, you can get this. And if you like painting florals, you can also get this because it is a good set for it has a lot of greens. It has a lot of red, 
and I actually added um, two colors here, which is Daniel Smith English Red Ochre, which is a brownish color, and Chin Han PWC for Sepia. Okay, so that's what I'm do. That's what I added. Okay, James Joseph Bardis says, I'm fine, busy. Yes, all of us are always busy. <laughs> Actually, I'm having a hard time recently finding time to, to, to do some calligraphy and paint. So I was able to update my Instagram. Anyway, so I trace here the woman here. This is Arches watercolor paper, 300 GSM, and it's 100% cotton paper. So that's what I'm using today. And I will be doing so before I start my before I start with my wetting my paper, I'm going to wet first and prepare my colors. I will be just using the three colors metallic paints, these are the color, gold and silver. Okay, that's what I'm going to use. I'm using a small spray bottle that I got from buying the perfume. Okay, but I think I need to wet more of my paints, especially the copper. Copper is my favorite color in my watercolor set. What about you guys? What are your favorite colors? Last week, some people said that their favorite color is yellow. What about you guys? Okay. Some people said purple, some yellow, some red. Actually, my favorite color is red, but for this set, I like this copper, especially if I am doing calligraphy. I like Rose of Indigo in this palette. Black and pink. Okay. This nice combination, black and pink. I like black, especially when I when <laughs> like black when I going to go out somewhere because it's easy to match with different colors. Okay, what about jeans? What is your favorite color? I want to know your favorite color. Can you tell me, Jake, tell us? What is your favorite color? I'm not mixing gold. And I am going to get some silver. I'm thinking to add also border on your card. That's what I do. I I actually cut a small piece of Arches here, so I don't, I won't fold the paper or the part, but I can write something at the back of it. Okay, so I prepared my colors. I'm going to wet my paper. I'm going to, I want to use my spray bottle, but I have an image of a woman here, so. It might sprinkle on some areas that I should not, so I'm just using my brush. Okay, for my brush, I'm using Frame Spend Select Size 6. Thank you, Wild Orchids, for buying this for me and my behalf because I cannot go there. All right. Good brush. It's a round brush and it's point to tip, it's good. So 
So this is an image of a pregnant woman because it's Mother's Day and being pregnant is one of the thing of being a mother that we can also remind our moms about Mother's Day. Do you have any gifts for your moms? I hope you can add this watercolor silhouette painting to your gift to your moms. I'm just wetting it. The right amount of water on your paper is that when it's shiny, not bottling. I will take my paper to a board so it will be easy for me to lift it up. Okay, hope they are good. Yes, it's good. <laughs> it's quite stiff, but it's good. Okay, just letting it dry a bit so it will help my paper to absorb the water. What is your gift to your moms? Okay, hope that you can share to me what would be or what are you thinking to give your mom to your wife? Okay. All right, Bash has said. I'll give my mom some flowers and tea. Oh, it's nice. Okay, what about the others? I'm going to give cash instead. <laughs> some people today prefer cash instead of gifts. Do you like giving or receiving gifts or cash? My mom a prayer. Yes, me too. My mom is actually, um, well, my biological mom is far away from me. She is in Baguio. And I am in Martina. My mom who raised me up is now in heaven. So there, I'm just going to send my mom a prayer also. <laughs> All right, so I have, I put second layer of water so it will absorb the paint easily. Okay. And I'll add some paint. I'm using copper this time. Okay. I make sure that it won't go outside of my sketch. Just careful. Well, it's well I add, I'm going to add some silver here so it will blend with each other. Okay. Then I will add some gold. By the way, for this card, I will give this to my mother-in-law. My already past 14 years of home. Your mom. My, I miss my mom too. Especially the one who raised me because I was with her for a long time then. I really so I miss her so much. And she raised me up as her own daughter because she doesn't have any daughter other than me. <laughs> All right. The lower part is getting dry, so I'm adding a little bit of water so it will flash. And I'm going to tilt my paper also so that it will help my 
some colors to go down and blend with each other. So I'm going to do that a little bit here. So it's just silhouettes and it's quite easy. It doesn't need much more of the doesn't need much details. We're going to over this with with calligraphy. Okay, can you tell me what words do you want me to put here on this card? I will be putting it on the top of this open. Should I put Happy Mother's Day or should I put like um thank you mom? Can you can you tell me what I what you want to put on the it's flooding a bit so I absorb it with some tissue here but I'll get some book There, I'm adding some food and let this dry later. I will add some silver. Hello. You want to add Happy Mother's Day? You can actually write anything or write a message to your mom. I think I will write here, thank you, mom. Because I'd like to say thank you to my mom. Please be up. I'm going to blend these colors. And it's getting damp. It's, my paper is drying. I have actually watercolor and photography class. If you are interested to join on my watercolor and calligraphy class, you can go to my Instagram. My Instagram is my Anting Penmanship. Then you can sign up there. Thanks for bringing me in this world. Okay. Thanks for bringing me into this world. It's quite long, but it's okay. I think we can manage to write it. Okay. And I will just let this dry. Wait, letting this dry. What about the others? What would you like to write on this paper? Letting it try. So I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to put this aside first. Okay. There, please write. Okay, Basha says, okay, please write thanks, mom. Oh, okay. I'm glad you are thankful to your mom. And you have a good relationship with them. Okay. Yeah. By the way, next time I might use the mojo. Just a little. <laughs> just a little. I'm going to test myself and mixing some colors. So I bought some Winter and Newton watercolors paint in tubes. There. By the way, I created also a guide for each letter that is for what call this. Yeah, something like this. It is each letter, but the small letters. I already have a guide of this. If you want to get a copy of this guide, because I cannot post it on my 
I'm going to try again to post it on my Facebook page. I cannot post it on Instagram because it's only pictures and short videos. I can also post it on my coffee, but um, yeah, you can send, you can message me and send me, and I will send you a, a PDF copy of this guy. Okay, well, for today, thanks, mom, for all your sacrifices. Ooh, okay. You can try that. Hope that we can work on it. Okay, anyway, so I have this my paper. And I am going to use some of my pens. I will be talking about more of using or these guys. Okay, the small letters. By the way, I have a new pen. I can use this on writing later. All right. So, like when we are going to do the word thing. So just remind us where the basic strokes. Okay, I'm using the platinum brush pen because it's easy for me to uh, use this while I'm teaching. Okay, so for the basic strokes, let's start with a down stroke. Just press a little puppy on your paper like that. For upstroke, it is just using the tip of your brush like that. If your upstroke is quite thick and it looks like very close to your downstroke, you need to do it again. It means that you are writing um, with heavy pressure. It should be very light pressure. Okay, so I will start with the next stroke that is an overturn. Okay, so for the overturn, it should be, it should be round here and press your brush at that point. Okay, now let's continue with an underturn. That is, start the top with the heavy pressure and slowly lift your pen up. Okay, right. Okay, I know that we are doing this basic strokes all the time every time I do live session because I want us to be reminded on how we do the basic strokes. And the basic strokes are not actually easy. It's easy to look at, I know, but it's not easy to do, especially for the first time and for the people who are new in using brush pens for the first time. It's not easy. I know that. So if you're struggling, I know the struggle in using brush pens. It, uh, the first time that I used brush pens, like in the first month, I'm trying to throw it away. I didn't want to use it anymore. Okay, anyway, let's continue with the compound curve. So we will be combining this. So let's start with thin upstroke and then curve down a little. Slowly lift your brush. Okay, the technique also in doing the basic strokes is that do this continuously. You do not stop on any part of the basic stroke because if you do like on these curvy strokes that we are doing like the underturn overturn and the compound curve some people are having a hard time doing it continuously and what happens is that they get pointy on some part and it's not good all right so just keep on practicing doing it continuously practice also doing slow okay Let's continue with an oval, so that's up stroke and then curve down a little with a heavy down stroke and step your brush. There you go. Hello, Miss Taxivilia. Thank you for joining me. All right, I'm happy to see you here. Okay, I we are making uh, 
there's simple and easy watercolor Mother's Day card. Okay, can you tell me what you would like to add on in this painting? We will be writing something here. Okay, so that's an image of the woman. Okay, so next we are going to do an ascending loop. So ascending loop is used for the, I'm sorry, tall letters. So that's like B, H, K, L, or T, D. We are using this scroll. Okay, next one is we are going to do descending loop. Okay, it should look like this a heavy down stroke. And then slowly lift your brush pen with the light pressure go up there. Okay, there. So that's our basic strokes. All right. Does it look easy? Can you tell me, is it look easy? Does it look easy? Have you tried doing this? I hope that my weekly calligraphy session is helping you to practice this. It's hard. Bash says it's hard. Okay, but orchids said no. <laughs> All right. Well, yes, Basha, it's actually um difficult at first, so keep on like, practicing. All right. Yes, Miss Traxavilia. <laughs> it says, "Wow, it looks easy." Yes, it looks easy. Still, keep. Okay. Yes, I know it's quite hard, but at first. It took me actually months to perfect the basic strokes, especially the oval. It took me like, I think, six to eight months to perfectly make an oval, like an oval shape that it doesn't look like any other shape. <laughs> because ovals are actually used for letter C, letter G, letter Q. So it's quite difficult. But then, when I get the hang of it, there I can do. I can do it. Next time I will be doing session teaching flourishing, and I will be also teaching um what they call this uh, flourishing and different styles, especially on the descending group because descending group is used for letters that has tails like G and Y and J there. Okay, so uh, let's, let me get, okay. I think we can try to write, thanks mom. All right, thanks mom. Okay, so it's, it's short. All right, so for the word thanks, okay, for the word thanks, I can, Start with an entry line like this. So for entry line, it is a thin upstroke, thin upstroke. So using the very tip of your brush pen, like that. Okay. Then I will do another stroke that is ascending loop with. A thin upstroke like this. Okay, so I will be doing like this. There you go. So it's a sending loop, but I have an exit line. Exit line is used so for entry line to connect it to the next letter. Okay, so let's do an oval here. Oh no. Another sending loop because we are going to write each. There you go. Then I will add a compound curve for the each. So if you are connecting your letters, make sure that it is on the same height when you end it. 
Next, I will use an oval here. There. And I will add an underturn. So that we have a tail of the A and exit line at the same time. Okay. Miss Trek Sevilla says it looks easy, but when I do it, it looks bad. <laughs> I know, Miss Trek Sevilla, it's actually difficult the first time. But it's just the first time. Just keep on practicing because practice makes perfect. Perfect makes permanent. So keep on practicing. Okay. Now let's keep with the end. So I will do a heavy downstroke. Then I will have a compound curve again. There you go. Then I will have ascending loop. If you actually see my real handwriting, you will be surprised. <laughs> I do not write like this. This is my calligraphy because handwriting is very different. Very different. Okay, now for the K, I will have a quick loops here with an upstroke, thin upstroke, and down strokes. Okay, like this. Then for the lower part of the K, I will do like extended. Um, and just turn like this. There. Of course, we will be doing a crosswalk. And for okay. All right. Well, or you said I can do counter -clack clockwise. It's hard for me to do clockwise. Okay. Do you mean for the ovals? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, practice. Oval is the most difficult um, stroke for me. Now for the S. Okay, so since we already have the entry line for the S, I'm going to add a curly downstroke like this. And lift it there. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Some people do that. They start differently, but it is still proper since it's called basic. So it means it is standard. So you need to really start here. Some one of my students noted uh, this descending loop from the same line instead here. So I always correct her for that. Okay. But Please practice that. Okay. Now for the mom, let's continue with an entry line like this. Just a thin line. And then heavy down stroke. Now we will do an S is clockwise. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's true. Okay. Now let's do an overturn. And then we will do a compound curve. Like that. Okay. Now we will do the oval. Like this. And I will add it exit line there. Now I will add downstroke. Then an overturn. And last the compounder. There you go. Thanks mom. Okay. I know it's not really easy when you do it, but hopefully that you can. But keep on practicing before you transfer it to your, to your painting. All right, so there. I'm just removing some of the P 
anything to the copper right there. Now I am going to write here using Tombo calligraphy pen. I cannot understand Japanese, so it just says calligraphy pen. It's dual brush. It has um, gray the other side and black on the other side. There you go. This is a small brush. So if you are a small writer, it is also good to buy. This is for 200 pesos, 209 or 210 pesos in National Bookstore. But if you are in Japan, this JJ Kojima is not here. <laughs> it's cheaper to buy there. Okay, so for thanks mom, I will write thanks here and mom here. Thanks mom. And then you can also write like, for example, her name here, there, whichever that you would buy. I will do this so that I can write here in this part. Okay. For this, I didn't have anything to make a line for this. Maybe this one. Okay, we just this. this. But it will be difficult to erase so make a line very very lightly if you have a laser that's also good by the way this is my my painting that we did earlier with my one of my students all right so i taught her how to paint clouds all right so let's start writing so i have some lines here i use three each pencil so it's Easy to remove or to erase, but when you use different pencil or darker, I suggest that very that just write the line very lightly. Okay, so I will write the word thanks here at the top. Screen. Then send it you. Her. An oval. Under turn. Down stroke. Account her. Sending loop. So I'll look here. There. Same. All right. Then I will do a curvy crossbar here, connecting it to the H. Then for the M, I'll start with a thin entry line, a down stroke, a turn, a pound curve. An oval, exit line, down stroke, overturn, and compound curve. So there, that's what we have. Thanks, mom. And before I finish this, I'm going to also remove the board, remove the tape. Then I will add a border. I'm thinking to add gold for the border. All right. What do you think? All right. When, by the way, whenever you take down your watercolor paper, it is best to do like side, side, um, I'm sorry, top, bottom, side, side. Okay. Oh, thank you. Basha, thank you. What else for kids? All right. Then I think I can add gold for the border. Okay, so whenever you remove the tape, all right, you are you need to remove it away from the paper. Okay, so I am moving it away from the paper. Right, not from here, not removing here, 
but start removing from here away from it okay so it will avoid damaging your paper you should have a good okay miss trexivilia says you should have a good handwriting as well miss trexivilia well the truth is i do not write very beautifully i do calligraphy not handwriting so that's why i teach the basic strokes if i do this in writing i'll show you my shameful handwriting <laughs> i do not write the same okay so i have here a regular pen because calligraphy is for everyone and it does you don't need to have a very good handwriting to do calligraphy it's actually a myth you need to just practice the basic strokes like this. You need to just practice this every day and you will have a good handwriting. You can have a good calligraphy in that handwriting. So I will write thanks. Okay. Thanks. It doesn't show the T. Okay. <laughs> That's how I write. And if I am, for example, if I am, um, if I do it quickly, like I'm thinking too fast, because actually I think fast, so I write fast. If I do it, it will look like, like that. <laughs> because I think fast and I write fast. So whenever I do that, actually, only pharmacists can only understand my handwriting. So this is my handwriting. This is my calligraphy. All right. This is my calligraphy also. So no need for very good handwriting. It is just you need to practice the basic stroke. All right. My handwriting is bad, but I have a good calligraphy. <laughs> okay. Lettering is also different. Lettering is drawing letters, so it is not so lettering. Typography is also different. Typography is when you write letters in, in, in a typewriter font. So there are actually differences. There are, this is actually brush pen calligraphy or modern calligraphy. Some people do um, the copper plate. Copper plate is when you use a, a copper plate like a nib and you dip it to the ink. All right. There. So I still have my watercolor paints with me here at the side and we will use this for the way for this. All right. So you should have a clean image like this all right there okay so yeah it's i would like to inspire i'd like to encourage you to do the basic strokes because i'm doing calligraphy for like five to six years now so um i know it might look different to what i'm doing because it might be your first time and me i do this for a lot of generating so do not compare your work to my work just do it <laughs> just do it okay so now i'm going to mix i'm going to get some gold again because i'm going to make some borders you can add some leaves also or some flowers if you want to like on this side well, we can do that also once I'm done with the, with, with the border. Okay. Well, Orkin said, there's a new painter stick here. It doesn't damage your paper. I hope not. Well, Orkin, because some, some artist says that it's still damaging their paper. <laughs> so instead of buying art, um, painter stick or Orkin stick, I just use tape and what I do to avoid damaging my paper when I when I have this tape so what here's what I do this is the trick that I do all right so 
person from this state that you're going to put in. I did not put my feet directly. I get a cloth or I do I do this on my clothes that I'm wearing, like on my pajamas, on my shirt. So I just press it down and then remove it. So it will remove the some gum out of the feet. I do this several times, especially on my shirt, before I tape it down. So it can damage my paper. Because some artist says that it's still damaging my paper. I'm using my I'm using paper state. I'm using the blue painter state. <laughs> so I did not bother to buy it anymore. I just use regular mask that I can buy anywhere. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so for the border, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glide my hand. Okay. Try fog tape. Oh, wait, what? Try frog tape? I'll send you one. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you in advance. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm using my pinky here to rest my hand on my paper. I'm just going to glide it. Okay. Let me. Okay. Let me just glide it. Using the tip of my brush. Okay, there. All right. I hope that what you do is not very crooked. Okay, but just simply glide it. All right. Simply glide your brush. I will extend this a bit, and then I'm going to guide it one more time using the tip of my brush. There you go. You can do this slowly also. In fact, it will avoid crooked or uneven, but it's good to have, like, you know, not too straight, like when you use a ruler, because it adds more personalization to your stuff, right? Then, okay, it here again. And we just have one side left. <laughs> one side left. Okay, there we go. All right, there. So we finished the borders. You can add some leaves if you want to. But get now. All right. Why not add some? right okay i'm thinking to add some gray but oh some silver i mean but i think i will use olive green olive green is one of my favorite colors oh no it's not olive green sorry i guess is it olive green and olive brown okay i'll mix it together there you go then I can add some leaves like here using the tip of my brush. This, and then I will press the heavy roll and slowly lift. All right, again, tip of your brush. Drag, press, heavy, and then slowly lift your brush. There you go. All right. You can add them over here. There you go. You can also add another stroke on this side so you can make big teeth. There, I'm going to extend the stem here using the tip of my brush. So it's like there is a plant here. I'm going to add another one here. There you go. Another one. 
there. Okay. I think that's enough. <laughs> I think I'm fine with this. So this is our simple and easy watercolor silhouette greeting card for Mother's Day. I hope you like it. And remember to subscribe to my channel if you like to see more of watercolor calligraphy art materials reviews coming up. Also, if you would like to to my class, you can sign up on my Instagram. There is a link there to sign up for watercolor and calligraphy class. For the small letters guide on calligraphy, I can send that to you on but in PDF so I can send me a message and I will send that to you on the email. Okay, that's it for my tutorial today. I hope you like it and I'll see you on my next class. Bye. Thank you.